this view is very refreshing. You know, it reminds you of what's possible when you work hard for a long time. And by a long time, I mean hundreds of years to try to allow a place to be wild. So once upon a time, there were millions of animals that roamed everywhere from Alaska to Mexico to Georgia to almost the West Coast. They were the most common large herbivore in North America. And in the blink of time, those bison were essentially removed from the continent. Down from 60 million to a couple of hundred animals or fewer. The last of the wild animals were here in Yellowstone in the late 1800s. In the early 1900s, we turned this Lamar Valley into a buffalo ranch and we tried to help the bison recover. I came into the picture in 2001. You know, fast forwarding the story to that point, bison had fully recovered the park. The bison population is as large as it has ever been in history. We know that's a benefit to the park. Bison are a keystone species in this ecosystem. That means that if you removed bison from this ecosystem, it would be fundamentally different. It would fall apart to some extent. I try and look at Yellowstone as a whole, and what I see is a big and diverse base to the food pyramid. Places where bison have modified areas and created certain types of grasslands. And what that does is it, it wakes this ecosystem up. It creates multiple waves of spring, creates better food and better nutrition that supports a larger population of everything that relies on food in the ecosystem. It just wakes this place up. If we wouldn't have recovered bison and they would have gone extinct, this place would look fundamentally different. So bison are really smart. They manipulate the system. They crop these grasses and that creates this cascade of events from stimulating the microbial populations to stimulating the plants and to grow after being grazed. The bison are just making their own spring by grazing the plants and the other animals can come in and take advantage of that. Population ranges between four and six thousand animals and we found a way to make that work doing things like moving buffalo across state lines and to tribal areas takes a lot of people working together it takes buy-in from the state that you're moving animals across it takes coordination with the tribe so anytime you want to do something like that it takes a ton of people saying we all have the same end goal in mind we want to get buffalo back where they belong so how can we find a way to work together to do that? The work of the Bison Conservation Transfer Program is not possible without many partners working together. You know, bison are a sense of our past. I see it all the time in the park. You know, the first time people encounter like a large group of bison, it rekindles this sense of past that we all share. I come out here, it's a sense of inspiration. It's a, you know, it's one of those places where it's like, we did something really right. And that, that's, that's a really, you know, it's a good place to come to.